book himself and bless you. Heavenly Father, we come before you today. Each of this, we worship you. We thank you for this very first day of the year 2019. Our first Sunday, rather. Sunday is the day of the Lord. Sunday is the beginning of creation. Sunday is the beginning of a new week. And Sunday will be a beginning, the beginning of new things in the lives of your people in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, we pray that even as Sunday becomes the day of resurrection, I pray everything that has been dead in the life of your people, which ought to be alive, the resurrection power of God will bring them to life in Jesus' name. Visit and bless every soul present here. Visit and bless every family represented here. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. All right, you may have your seats. Once again, I welcome you to the house of the Lord. I welcome you to the first Sunday in the year 2019. I'm going to begin the sermon today with a little story. There was a particular man that was going on a road. And as he was going, he saw some elephants tied with a small, tiny rope on their front leg. Just one of the legs. Just one. The rope was so tiny enough that it meant nothing for the elephant to hold them bound. The elephant easily could break off and go their way. But then the young man observed that the elephant never made any attempt to break off. Never attempt to break away. And so he stopped and questioned the trainer and said, how come that these elephants are here, can break off, despite the nature of the rope that couldn't even hold them for one second? And then the trainer smiled and said, when they were little babies, they were restrained with that rope. And so they grew up knowing the rope was there restraining them. And they were conditioned to that idea of the fact that they cannot break off, they cannot break loose. And even though they are big elephants right now, that mentality is there in them that they are bound for life. I declare in the name of Jesus. Every bound of the enemy in your life be broken in Jesus' name. Do you know there are so many of us that are in that situation? Because of where you have been in life, because of what has happened to you, because of what you are going through. Because you have tried and you failed, now you are conditioned to the fact that this is your destiny. This is your lot in life. Every evil destiny. This year in your life, I destroy in Jesus' name. And so many are bound to the yoke of addiction in their life. Many are bound to the yoke of rebellion. Bound to the yoke of pornography. Bound to the yoke of stealing, the yoke of lying. And all kinds, they are bound to the yoke of failures and disappointments in life. Some have even given up praying at all. They have lost hope. Every lost hope will be recovered. In the name of Jesus. Understand, all it takes is just for the elephant 
to come to that realization of the fact that I can be free. And then make a move and they'll be free. But they never make that move. This year, you will make moves. And the moves you make will move you forward. In the name of Jesus. But then understand, the Bible says that it's not by power, it's not by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Understand, the only way you really can break off and break loose is by the power of God. Jesus said that in John 15, 5, that without me, you can do how many things? You can do nothing. The wisdom to do things, to get things done. The grace to get things done. The timing to get things done. The strategy to get things done. Only God can give. And that is why the year 2019, please understand is a year that we must begin with God. Because by yourself, with yourself, on your own, through yourself, you can do nothing. This year, you will do something. Amen. The life of a man is void without God. There is a vacuum. There is an emptiness. There is hopelessness in the life of a man. When God is missing. Let's go to Genesis chapter 1. And look at it from verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. That was the nature of creation. That was the situation before divine intervention. But then, look at the next verse. Can you read the next verse for me? I'm sorry? You have jumped. It's and the spirit of God move upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Listen to this. Light is coming to your life. Light is coming to your home. Life is coming to your family. Life is coming to your career. Light is, life, light is coming to your health in Jesus' name. And God saw the light. Pay attention here. God saw the light. Men will see the light of God in you. It was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. Look up here. Every darkness that has followed you to 2019, there is a demarcation line. Amen. I said a demarcation line. Amen. God will separate darkness away from you in Jesus' name. Amen. As we begin this new year, I want to encourage you to be sure you connect with God. The maker of your life, the author of your life, and the founder of all things. Acts chapter 17 verse 28 tells us that for in him we live and move and have our being. Not that alone. John chapter 12 verse 10 tells us in his hand is the life of every creature. And the breath of all mankind. So he alone can make things work for us and things will work for us in Jesus name. I'll talk on three points. Number one. The emptiness of life without God. The emptiness of life without God. Number two. The empowerment for life in Christ. The empowerment for life that is in Christ. That power is coming for you. When you have the power, what do you do? The exploits through partnership with God. When you partner with God, you were told earlier on that Moses leading the children of Israel from Egypt to the Canaan land, the promised land, called upon the Lord and said, Lord, 
I need your presence. And he said, I will not go except your presence goes with me. And that presence of God took care of everything about Moses. Everything about the people he was leading. Everything about challenges they met on the way. The Lord will go with you. 2019, the Lord will go with you. The Lord will go with you. And will take care of every situation in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Come back to that Genesis again. Emptiness of life without God. It says in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. Darkness upon the face of the deep. Understand it's not enough to be alive. There are people that are alive and wish they were dead. Because of the void in their life. Because of the emptiness of their life. Because of what they are going through in life. There are even some coming to church and you cannot see God in them. And they are struggling and struggling. In the name of the Lord, you will no more struggle. Amen. When you get up to walk, you don't get up, you, you, you don't struggle to walk, do you? You don't struggle to walk. It's normal that you walk normally. Fishes don't struggle to swim in the water. Birds don't struggle to fly in the air. This year, you will not struggle. Because the Lord will be your partner, your companion, your co-laborer in Jesus' name. Because Jesus, Paul said, we are co-laborers together with God. He will be there with you. He will be there for you in Jesus' name. John 15, 5, I told us before, he said, I am the vine and you are the branches. I am the vine, you are the branches. You are the branches. And every branch in me, amen, he said, he, said, he that abideth in me and I in, in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. The same bringeth forth, you see the partnership there. You see the connection there. But then he went further to say that for without me you can do, how many? Nothing. Emptiness of life without Christ. The wisdom I had, the knowledge I had, the academics I have, uh, the experiences I have, all will amount to nothing. But when God is involved, he leads the way. I said he leads the way. The songwriter said, Jesus knows the way through the wilderness. All I have to do is to obey. As we obey him, this year things will happen in Jesus' name. In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 1, when you read the whole chapter, the wise King Solomon evaluated everything in life, enumerated everything in life, examined everything in life, and then his conclusion is vanity upon vanity, all is vanity. Solomon tells us there that there is nothing that is that has not been. There is nothing that will be that has not been. Listen to me. The only thing that will make a difference in your life is Christ in you, the hope of glory. And the, the Lord will take control in Jesus' name. John chapter 8 verse 12. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. The light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Understand again, the life without God is buried in darkness. It's buried in trespasses and transgression. The life without God is buried in frustration and disappointment. It's buried in dejection and delusion. Life without Christ it's a life of discouragement and of defeat. It's a life of destruction and deprivation of the necessities of life. It's a life of destitution and degeneration. 
And finally, it's a life that you end up in death. Life without God is not a life you want to live this year. Life without God. Every step of the way, every day of your life, you want to be sure that you don't walk in darkness and the light of God will shine on your path in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. James chapter 4, verse 14. Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even as a vapor that appeared for a little time and then vanish away. Vanish away. Your life will not vanish in your, in your eyes in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I get to the second point. Empowerment for life in Christ. The empowerment for life in Christ. Look at that passage of the scripture. And the earth was without form. And void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. I'm in Genesis chapter 1 from verse 2. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. The Spirit, the empowerment, the Spirit of God empowers us. The Spirit of God energizes us. The Spirit of God strengthens us. The Spirit of God instructs us. The Spirit of God teaches us. The Spirit of God leads us as many as are led by the Spirit of God. Who are they? They are the sons of God. You will have that spirit this year. As many as received him, John 1, 12, to them God gave the power to become the sons of God. That power is coming your way in Jesus' name. Amen. Mark chapter 9, verse 23 says, All things are possible to him that believe. You begin with God. You turn over to God, you will see great things happening in your life in the name of Jesus. John chapter 8 verse 12. Then spake Jesus again unto them saying, I am the light of the world. The light of he that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. The light of life. And then the prophet Isaiah by the inspiration of God, with the power or the empowerment of God in the, upon his life, penned down in the book of Isaiah chapter 41. Look at it from verse 10. It says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. Somebody just means that. They shall be as nothing. And they that strive with thee shall perish. You will get to a point in your life. Look at the next thing. He said, thou shalt seek them. And what's going to happen? You will not find them. I said you will not find them. Even them that contended with thee, they that war against thee shall be as nothing. And as a thing of naught. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand. Saying unto thee, what? I can hear somebody. I can hear somebody. Fear not, I will help thee. The Lord will help you this year. The Lord will help you this year. Every area where you have failed, you will look for failure. You will not find it again in Jesus' name. In every part of your body or your life where you have been diseased, you will look for the sickness and infirmity. You will not find it again in Jesus' name. Every disappointment that has followed you all your life, you will look around. You will not find it anymore in Jesus' name. Amen. This is your year of turning point. 
It is your year of breakthrough. It's your year of deliverance. It's your year of divine intervention in the name of Jesus. The Lord will visit you beyond your imagination. And all your enemies, please understand, understand, your enemy is the devil. The principalities and the powers, they are your enemy. They are the ones, the invisible ones. They have been following you. They have been tracing you. They have been manipulating you. They have been oppressing you. They have been afflicting you. They have been attacking you. And the Lord is saying, this year, they will not be able to penetrate you anymore in Jesus' name. And then you will look for that thing that has been your lot all your life and it will be gone. I said that sorrow will be gone. That pain and sadness of heart will be gone. That failure and poverty will be gone. In the name of Jesus. Because, because you are beginning with the Lord. He's holding your hand. He's guiding you. He's leading the way. He's leading the way. He's leading the way. I think I told you some times ago, when Israel left Egypt, and then the house of Jacob from the people of a strange land, the Bible say that they got, the, the, the sea saw it. When they got to the sea, the sea saw it and fled. And fled. The rivers were skipping like rams. And then the Bible said, what happened to you O sea that you fled? And you are mountains keeping like rams. It says, tremble thou earth in the presence of God. When God is going before you, every crooked path will straighten up. In the name of Jesus. When God is going before you, every mountain before you will be leveled in Jesus' name. When God is going before you, every arrow and dash of the enemy will be intercepted in the name of Jesus. You will go free without yoke. You go free without bondage. You go free without sickness, without infirmity. You will go free in the holiness of the Lord, in the righteousness of the Lord, in the purity of the Lord. You have been struggling to live the Christian life. I declare this year, 2019, will be a year of freedom in holiness, freedom in righteousness, freedom in purity, freedom in power. The Bible says that he will deliver us from all our enemies that we might serve the Lord, might serve the Lord this year will be a year of service for you in the name of Jesus. Every chains and chakras of the enemy holding you down, you are breaking loose. I say you are breaking loose uh, and in your personal life, in your spiritual life, in your marriage, in your family, in your every area of your life, to the right you are breaking forth. Uh, to the left you are breaking forth. Uh, in front you are breaking forth. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, the law will enlarge your course. Uh, I said the law will enlarge your course. The spirit of the law will do it in Jesus name. The louder your amen, the bigger your blessing. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Colossians 1 7. And he is before all things. And by him all things conceive. So he's before all things. Through him, by him, all things came to be. And through him, your life will be formed. I say your life will be formed. Your children will be formed. Your career will be formed. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 36 verse 9 says, For with you is the fountain of life. In your light shall we see light. <laughs> Somebody didn't get that. The Lord is saying, in your light shall we see light. That is simply saying that uh, through you, the families of the earth shall be blessed. Amen. It's simply saying that somebody here will be blessed. And you'll be so blessed enough that all that people will be getting blessed through you in Jesus' name. That just means that this year poverty and lack is not your portion. You will not live in penury. You will not live from hand to mouth in the name of Jesus. The people of the world will not pity you this year. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You know, Luke chapter 20 verse 38 says, For he is God. Uh, for he is not a God of the dead, but of the living. 
For all live to him. All live to him. Our God is the God of the living. And he will bring you alive in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I get to the top point. Exploit through partnership with God. When you come to Christ Jesus, you give your life unto him. You are free from sin. You are free from perdition. You are free from iniquity. You are free from self. You are free from Satan. What then do you do? Let's begin with this. Even just coming to the Lord, receiving the Lord, come back to that John chapter 1 verse 12, as many as received him. Just from the point of receiving him, the exploit begins with you. Because the Bible say, to them gave he, one word, I can't hear somebody. Say it as if you mean it. Somebody shout it now. Power. 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 Power is coming your way. To them gave ye the power. The power. It is with that power that now you'll be able to do exploit to the name of the Lord and the glory of the Lord. Come back to that Genesis chapter 1. It says there the latter part, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. In your life, the Spirit of God will move. In your family, it will move in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Daniel chapter 11, verse 32. And such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries. But the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploit. Amen. As you begin with God this year, begin to partner with God. Never make a move without God. Never go anywhere without God. Behave like Moses, except your presence go with us. I will not go. And how do you do that? You do that by prayer, partnership by prayer. You pray often, but please pay attention. Many at times, many of us will behave like radio. What does radio do? Radio keeps talking. For as long as it's on that channel, what does it do? It will talk and talk and talk. When you talk back to radio, what does radio do? I can't hear you. Some of you don't even listen to radio. Does radio re reply you? Does radio listen to you? Tell your neighbor, don't be a radio. Just talking and talking. When you pray, when you pray, Understand, look at God as somebody you can see with the eyes of the Spirit. Look at God as somebody you are communicating with who will communicate back to you. Look at somebody who is going to give you instruction just like any other human being will give you instruction. So when you pray, pay attention to the listening, I mean, to the, to the voice of the Lord. Pay attention to the response from the Lord. And he can speak in any way. He can speak to your heart. He can speak to your mind. He can speak through anybody. He can speak through the minister. He can speak through even a little child. He, he can just be through inner intuity. He can speak to you through your dreams. Listen to this. He can speak to you by voice. You know, years back, as a banker then, there was a fraud in my office. One of the accounts I was controlling then, lots of money was gone. And then they were to arrest us, uh, me in particular, and then take us to jail for interrogation. And that part of the world, they don't just sit you down and ask a question like that. They put you through some things. Amen? Even the one you didn't do, you will confess you did it. Praise the Lord. 
And knowing what my colleagues had been through in the past, they come back and tell us the story. I was scared to death of going to that place. And so I said, Lord, I don't want to go. This is after my manager has said, no, you can't go with him. Uh, they took some people. I'm just cutting some of the stories off to save our time. But it got to a point, I said, Lord, I don't want to go to that place. I was on my knee. And I was listening for him to speak. And then I heard him say, you have to go. And then I responded back. I said, but Lord, if I go, I don't want to sleep in that place for one night. I stand there to testify before God and before man. I went but never slept there for one night. I was close to the prison door like this. They were collecting all our particulars so that we can take off all our stores, uh, the stuffs, uh, and the prisoners in the, in the cell were already saying, welcome, welcome. They were stretching their hands through the iron bar. Amen. And, and then I was right there. The Lord will speak to you. The Lord will stand with you. And then I was there waiting for my turn where I sat down there and then I was meditating and I was saying, Lord, but I told you I don't want to sleep in this place. There's no way you go in there that you won't sleep there one night. And right now, it's not that you are thinking, you are right there, they collect your stuff, the gate is there, they just open you, they push you in. And I said, Lord, but I told you this, I began to commune with God again, while communing with God, they seated down, I was gone. And then, the police officer finished with the other people, he turned to me, and then he called me, according to people, I didn't hear anything, I wasn't there anymore. I was already communing with my God in heaven. And uh, nobody disturbed me. The war will not disturb you. The powers of darkness will not interrupt you. When you are into fellowship with God, you will enjoy it in Jesus' name. Eventually, I was done. I came back to myself and I said, what is happening? Why have I not been called? I didn't know what was going on. And all of a sudden, the police looked back again. He said, oh, you are done praying. When the devil come to you, he will find you praying. When temptation come your way, he will find you praying. Even at that last moment of hopelessness, I still could find time to pray. And the policeman said, oh, you are done praying. He said, come, we've been waiting for you. The war will wait for you. My colleagues that they took us together, not a single person came to disturb me. Of course, they knew me. Of course, they knew I was praying. Yes, but from praying, I think maybe I went to heaven wherever I went. Titulary, I don't know what happened. And then as soon as I stood up, with all the money and all the particulars I had, and I stretched it to the police officer, the same top officer that signed our detention, walked in with so many police officers, qua, 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 and he said, hey, stop, release them. Return all their documents back unto them. And then he turned back again. And walked out again. And walked out again. This year you are released. I say you are released. I say you are released. In the name of Jesus. I cried unto the Lord. And he answered me. This is a your year of answer prayer. No matter what you are going through. The Lord will deliver you in Jesus name. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Exploit, exploit through partnership with God. Through partnership with God. Paul and Silas were in the prison. But then they were busy. They were not lamenting. They were not crying. They were not sorrowing. They were not saying, oh God, why me? This is not a year of lamentation for you. Your lamentation is over. You're, you saw, they said the weeping of Jeremiah. The weeping of Jeremiah. Listen to this. Your year of weeping is over. What is this year for you? What is this year for you? I said, what is this year for you? It's a year of joy. It's a year of happiness. It's a year of rejoicing. It's a year of jubilation in the name of Jesus. No sorrow, no sadness for you in Jesus' name. But on the basis of partnership with God. 
on the basis of the power of prayer, on the basis of purity, purity. The Bible tells us without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. It's going to be on the basis of you planning, planning, planning with God. Don't plan ahead of God. Don't plan without your God. Bring him in into every plan of your life. Let him be the final decision maker over your life. And then there will be times that you have to wait on God. Perseverance. Perseverance. You persevere. You endure. You wait. There are times while Israel left Egypt on their way to Canaan land, they will get to certain places and the cloud will stop. When the cloud stops, you stop. When the cloud moves, you move. You don't move without your God. He's the one that knows the danger ahead of you. He will take care of you before you get there in the name of Jesus. So, wait on God. Don't say, God, why now? Why not now? Why the delay? Why? You don't understand. You don't understand that the Lord is taking care of your enemy for you. In the name of Jesus, your passage is going to be a smooth one. I say your passage will be a smooth one. In the name of Jesus. And then understanding this, understand this here, because we're talking about exploit now, you get into parenting for God. Parenting for God. What does that mean? You evangelize. It's a year of service for you. As you continue to do the will of God, do the work of God, God will be doing your own work. Uh, you said I was hungry, there was no food, and then the little you had to eat, somebody showed up who is more hungrier than you. Amen? More hungrier than you. What do you do? You say, well, this one, you remember the, womb, the widow of Zarephath. There was famine in the land. Maybe there is famine around you, no matter what it may be. And then the woman had the last meal to prepare for her and her son to eat and then go the way of other people. What was their way? They perished. They died. Die of hunger. And then Elijah showed up. Elijah will show up in your life. You will recognize Elijah. You will receive Elijah. That Elijah represents anointing. He represents the visitation of the Lord. The Lord will visit you supernaturally this year in Jesus' name. And Elijah showed up. And Elijah said, what do you have in your hand? And then she said, just a little food to prepare for me and my son. And then I died. And Elijah said, woman, you are hungry? Your son is hungry? Guess what? The man of God is hungry too. Amen? Go prepare something for me first. After that, take care of yourself. You know what? God's business is more important than your business. As you take care of God's business, he will take care of your business. You remember God fed Elijah without the finger of man before. God sent Baal, the little Baal, to take food. To, God could have done that. But because God wanted to bless that woman, for whatever reason, she was a woman of faith. She was a woman that believed in the Lord. God wanted to honor her faith. He sent Elijah to her. And then the woman did exactly what Elijah said. Blessing came. This year, upon your life, blessing is coming. Upon your family, blessing is coming. Upon your children, blessings are coming. In the name of Jesus. You know, there is a man called David. He was the king of Israel. But before he became king, he was a wanderer. He was a fugitive. He was running for his life. And then uh, he was in a place. And then while he was there, they were to go and fight with the Philistines. Before they came back, his family had been taken away. The village where they were has been burned down with fire. And then partnership with God. He consulted God. He didn't just make move. Listen, which direction will you even go? Do you know how long it has taken? He sought the Lord. Should I go? Should I pursue? Shall I overtake? And God said, go. This year, God is telling somebody go. 
where you have been turned down before you be received and accepted in Jesus name. The Lord is saying go where you have failed before you will succeed in Jesus name. And God said go and on his way he found a young man that was there dying and David didn't say my wife my children, the wives and the children of all my soldiers are all gone. This is only one soul. We have no time for one soul. Care for one soul. I said care for one soul. This year is a year of exploit. David took care of that Amalekite. And what happened? The Amalekite became the source of his breakthrough. It was the Amalekite that now told him, I came with my master and the band. We attacked a place called Siglag. We burnt it with fire. We did this and that. And they, is that so? Yes, it is so. Listen to me. The year 2019, the Lord will connect you with destiny helpers. In the name of Jesus. And so, the man, young man, took David to where the group was and everything was recovered. Everything you have lost. Your peace. Your joy. Your health. Your marriage. Your happiness. Your career. This year, restoration. This year, restoration is coming. In the name of Jesus. Exploit through partnership with God, with God. And that's why Daniel said, I read it before, I'll read it again, in chapter 11, verse 32, and such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt with, by flatteries, but the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploit. So then, what do you do? Psalm 37, from verse 3, trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord and do good and do good. Don't do evil. Don't do bad. Don't hurt anybody. Don't step on, on anybody. Don't hinder anybody. Don't oppose anybody. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shall thou dwell in the land. And verily thou shall be fed. I need an amen. Delight thyself also in the Lord. And he shall give thee the desires of thy heart in Jesus name. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. It's Proverbs 3, verse 5, verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. In the name of Jesus. This year, the Lord will lead you. The Lord will guide you. The Lord will protect you. The Lord will prepare you. The Lord will preserve you. The Lord will prosper you. The Lord will perfect you. But understand, it's going to be a year of purging. Anything that is not of God in your life, the Lord will purge them out in Jesus' name. Rise upon your feet and let us pray. Beginning with, uh, with God. Beginning with God. Beginning with God. Beginning with God. Understand? If you are still lost in pornography, lost in lying, lost in failures and disappointments, sin of any kind, addiction to food, addiction to lying, addiction to stealing, addiction to rebellion, whatever it may be, Societal influence, worldliness, worldly music, worldly dancing, worldly dressing. This year, you surrender to God. You declare, I surrender all, all to thee, my blessed Savior. I surrender all. I surrender all. You don't want your life to be hopeless. You don't want your life to be shapeless. You don't want your life to be helpless. This is a year of purity. A year of holiness. A year of righteousness. It's not going to be religion as usual. A year of commitment, devotion, and consecration to the Lord. 
It will be your year. And then will it be your year of empowerment. It will be a year of effectiveness. It will be a year of exploit for you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When you bind anything on earth, it shall be bound in heaven. When you lose anything on earth, it shall be loose in heaven. The desires of your heart, the Lord will grant unto you in the name of Jesus. You will live a holy life, a righteous life, a pure life. Every difficulties of the past will be gone from you in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Touch me one more time, oh Lord. Touch me one more time. Touch me one more time, oh God. I need the touch of the Master. I need the touch of the Lord. Touch me one more time, oh Lord. Touch me one more time. Touch me one more time, oh Lord. Touch me one more time. Touch me one more time, oh Lord. I need the touch, the touch of, of the master. master. I need the touch, touch of the Lord. Lord. Touch me one more time, oh Lord. Tell the Lord to touch you. Tell the Lord to touch you. Touch me. Tell the Lord to touch you. Maybe you have tried and you have failed. You've been struggling with sin. And the enemy is trying to let you know you cannot win that battle. You will win. I come in the name of the Lord, you will win. I come with the power of the Lord, you will win. I come with the authority of heaven, you will win. Just make another move. He will touch you. He will touch your heart. He will touch your brain. He will liberate you. He will set you free. But make up your mind. Tell the Lord. Tell the Lord. Tell the Lord. Cry out unto him. That poor man cried unto the Lord. And he had it. Touch me one more time. And he had it. And he had it. And he will hear you. This is your year of supernatural breakthrough. That rope that has tied you down all this way, we are cutting it off. We are breaking the chains and the fetters from your feet. From your neck, from your hands today, in the name of Jesus. Someday is a day of resurrection, the day of the Lord. The Lord of the days in the house. The Lord of the days is, is in the house. If you're in that category where you are, just lay your hand upon your chest and talk to God right now. Because the Lord is in his holy tabernacle. Don't even raise up your hand. Just lay it upon yourself and talk to him. Let the yoke be broken. Let the struggle be over. Let him know you have no power of your own. You have tried and failed. Spiritual vibration.
claim it now, your promise. Claim it now, your blessing. Claim it now, your freedom. If you are there, there is sickness in your body. Receive the touch of God right now. Receive it right now. Any affliction in your life, receive the touch of God right now. Any oppression, receive the touch of God right now. Any nightmare, receive the touch of God right now. Failures and disappointments there, receive the touch of God right now. Yes, is there any spiritual blindness or physical blindness? Receive the touch of healing right now. Cataract of glaucoma, receive the touch of God right now. Lumps or cancer, receive the touch of God right now. Liver or kidney disease, receive the touch of God right now. Yes, receive the touch of God right now. Wherever you are ailing, just lay your hands there and receive the touch of God right now. Receive, receive, receive by the authority of heaven. Receive in the name of the Lord. Receive in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, that stubborn, rebellious child by faith. He's delivered. She delivered in the name of Jesus. For that child of yours, lay your hand upon your heart right now. Even as you believe God, touching the heart of that child. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, touch me one more time. Touch me one more time. It's your year, it's your year, it's your year of promotion. It's your year of elevation. It's your year of remembrance, remembrance, remembrance. The Lord will remember you. Joseph was remembered in the prison. Daniel was remembered. Mordecai was remembered. Oh Lord, remember me this year. Touch me one more time in the name of Jesus. It's a year of touch. The touch of God. The touch of God. The touch of God. The touch of God. Yes, this year, I am partnering with God. I am continuing with God. In the name of Jesus. call upon you in the name of your son Jesus Christ for he said whatsoever which I ask the father in his name you will do it for us for every man every woman brother sisters children young ones youth Lord in this place I declare today your partnership will keep them company your presence will go with them. Your power will purify them. Lord, to that individual that is bound in that addiction to sin and iniquity, I declare and decree today a release in Jesus' name. I decree that individual that is bound by the spirit of pornography, a release today in the name of Jesus. I command that spirit of rebellion. Get out in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, oh God, that individual struggling with sin doesn't want it. But before realization, it has happened again. Oh Lord, oh God, the Bible say, if the sun shall set you free, you shall be free indeed. I pray for real freedom, real freedom, real freedom in the spirit realm, in the, in the physical. Come upon that individual now in the name of Jesus. As men that are bound with sicknesses and infirmities, uh, I command the healing virtue of the Lord. Whatever the sickness may be, be healed in the name of Jesus. 
Oh Lord, oh God, those that are saddled with failures and disappointments in life. Oh Lord, I pray there will be a turning point for them now in Jesus' name. This year will be a year of exploit. A year of service. A year of commitment. A year of dedication. A year of worship. In the name of Jesus, your people will not be put to shame. Struggles will no longer be their portion in Jesus' name. Father, you said in Isaiah 41, you said, fear not. I will help you. Oh Lord, I pray, help will come from on high to every brother, to every sister, to every child. In the name of Jesus, your people will be remembered. They will be recognized. They will be promoted. They will be established. They will be settled. In the name of Jesus, lacks and wants get out of their lives in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for answering. Thank you, Father, for answering. Let the closed wombs be opened. Every form of barrenness we cancel. We decree fruitfulness. We decree productivity. We decree progress. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray.